Hello everyone, Gamo Games here, and welcome back to another PowerPoint tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a Press Your Luck style minigame at the request of Peter Veer. So first off you need to use the auto shapes to draw out your prize tiles. You will need as many prize tiles as the prizes you are having. Next you need to make a selecting tile. You can do this by copying one of your prize tiles, changing the colour. You'll need to also change the transparency so you can see the prize tile underneath. Position the selector tile on top of the first prize tile. And now on the left hand side of the page, you need to duplicate the slide. You can do this by right clicking and selecting duplicate slide. On the new slide, move the selector tile over one and continue to duplicate the slide until all of the prize tiles have been covered by the selector tile. I've sped this up for you. You can also use Control D as a shortcut to duplicate slides. So now you see I have 18 slides and on each slide a different prize tile is covered by the selector tile. Now you want to select all of your slides, go to the animations tab, untick on mouse click and tick automatically after and apply to all slides. Now go to slideshow, set up slideshow and click loop continuously until escape and click OK. Now when you play your slideshow you'll see that it will zoom around very very fast. Now I will show you how to slow this down at the end of the tutorial. So you can finish this here, all you have to do is right click to pause, but I'm going to show you how to make a pause and play button, uh, which is more aesthetically pleasing. So you need the developer tab for this. And as you can see we cannot edit anything in the code, so we need to draw a command button simply to get this dialog box up that we can type code into. So delete all that's there and paste the code that is in the comments, uh, the description of this video. This creates two macros, one that pauses the presentation, one that plays. You can now delete this command button and we're going to add in some auto shapes. So we're going to do this on the slide master, so they appear on every single slide in the slideshow. On the main slide master page, delete the uh, layout guides, add an auto shape. I'm going to make a simple square button. Uh, change it to whatever color you wish. Green is my favorite color, so naturally I chose green and I wrote pause in it so you know which button's which. I'm going to copy the button and write play in the other one. Now I'm going to select the pause button, go to the insert tab, click action, and go down to run macro on the mouse click tab. Here you can see the two macros that we made in the code earlier. I'm going to select the pause macro, click OK, Select play and do the same again, but this time select the play macro. You can also add a sound so when you pause and play the animation, it will make a, a, a chime in sound if you want to. I'm not going to do that. I want these roughly in the center. I'll have to tweak this later because I'm a bit of a perfectionist, but uh, I'd say that's close enough for now. Now we want to close master view and as you can see these pause and play buttons are in the center pretty much in the center of every slide. So when we play it you can see it pauses when I click pause and continues when I click play. This is still incredibly fast. Uh, I want it to be fast and offer some challenge but this seems a bit too much. But before I slow it down uh, I've got something else to show you first. So you may not want all of the uh, the selector to go about in a straight line around in a circle so if you want to change it up a bit all you have to do is drag all of the slides into a different order 
which you can see me doing here, and a sped up pace. So now it jumps about at a random order. Still incredibly fast, um, so I think it's time we slowed it down. So we can simply do that by going to the animations tab and adding one second. Obviously you have to click apply to all, I forgot to do that there. Now you can see why this might have been a, a bit of a problem, because now this is on the other end of the spectrum, it's ridiculously slow. So we can work around this by setting the automatically after timer back to zero, and just making a few duplicates of every single slide. Uh, I'm going to speed this up for you, because otherwise it's going to get really tedious. As there's more duplicates of the slide, there's more for it to go through, so that's going to slow it down a bit. It's still fast and challenging, but you can actually see where the selector is now. It's just showing that it works perfectly fine. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. If you've got any more questions or need help with anything, feel free to comment down below. I do try to get back to everyone, even if I don't make videos very often. So thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe and bye.